the best seller's market in the history of modern day real estate is over. If you are a seller, you missed that window and we can't change that. With that said, we are still in a good seller's market from a historical perspective. Are home prices going down? It's too soon to tell. We have a few month trend of a very different market than we encountered last year, where buyers have much more leverage than they did, but still by no means all of the leverage. It's still a seller's market overall because inventory levels remain historically low, which is what keeps prices high. But we don't know how long that will continue, whether that is a period of months or a longer horizon. We do know that we are seeing some properties either stay on the market or sell for quite a bit less than we would have expected six months ago. We are seeing more price reductions than we have in many months, but price reductions don't necessarily mean a decrease in values, more of an adjustment of expectation between sellers and buyers. What's happening with interest rates? Well, rates are in the mid to high fives and are predicted to continue to rise and maybe in the higher sixes or even sevens by the end of the year. This is going to continue to decrease buyers buying power. Did you know that a 1% increase in interest rates will increase your mortgage payment with the same effect as a 10% increase in prices? Take a moment and let that sink in. The latest June statistics show it's taking 50% longer to sell a home today than last year at this time. If you're a seller, it's important to adjust your expectations to the new market. And if you're a buyer, beware that homes are still selling. But if you try to wait too long to see if you can get a better deal, you will face rising interest rates with no guarantee of a decline in prices. You could miss a great opportunity. I'll leave you with this one astonishing fact. Four out of the last six recessions saw home prices increase, not decrease. We are unsure with this recession what it will hold with home prices having shot up so rapidly the last couple of years and the government trying to slow down the housing market so aggressively to hedge against inflation. Only time will tell, and in the meantime, I'm here to answer any questions I can.